guys, Meredith here. So today we are going to be renewing our old t-shirts to create new DIY items. They are so easy to make and they're great for spring and summer, but obviously you could also use them all year round. Okay, let's just get crafty. I wanna go. looking for t-shirts or tanks that you have outgrown, are stained or ripped, or just something you know you will never wear in that form again. You can even go to a thrift store and buy an inexpensive t-shirt to make any of these DIYs if you don't have any old or unwearable t-shirts. The first DIY I'm going to show you how to make is the braided headband. So you will need an old t-shirt or tank top, and if you want your headband to be multicolored, you can use three different colored shirts like I did. You will need one elastic hair tie and a pair of scissors. Start by cutting off the bottom hem from your t-shirt. And then with that, you can roughly measure out how much material you need to wrap around your head. It doesn't have to be perfect because the headband will stretch. Cut three equal strips of your t-shirt material and the strips can be as wide or narrow as you want. The wider the strips, the thicker your braid is going to be. Now tie your three strips onto your elastic hair tie, making sure all three pieces are tied in the same spot and together. And then you're just going to braid the three pieces almost to the end. You want to leave about an inch or so unbraided. And then you're going to tie the remaining length around the opposite side of your elastic. Once you've tied all of the pieces around your elastic, you can cut off any remaining length and then your headband is ready to wear. This headband is perfect for any time of the year. You can change up the colors depending on the season and it can be dressed up or down. You could even use it as a workout headband to keep your hair out of your face when you exercise. Now I'm gonna show you how I styled my braided headband and an outfit idea for spring. So here's me at the park, just Mare casually strolling through the park with her watermelon popsicle. One of my favorite colors to wear in the spring and summer is light yellow or pale yellow. So I like to incorporate it into my outfits, whether it's in an accessory like my braided headband that I made or just my shirt like the one I have on today. It's a cropped spaghetti strap tank top with some lace trim at the bottom. And for my pants, I have on some black high-waisted jeans with rips in the knees, which I got from Cotton On. And then I paired this outfit with my favorite kind of shoes right now, which are ankle boots. So I have on these brown suede ones that I got from Aldo and then I have on this black lace kind of sheer cardigan and I got it from Urban Outfitters. This next DIY I'm gonna show you is a no sew so that means you don't have to sew it oh yes oh yes Okay, I'm a little too excited about this one. All you need is an old t-shirt, preferably a large one, and a pair of scissors. That's it. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. <laughs> Lay your shirt out on a hard surface and cut off the sleeves, the neck, if there's any, and the bottom hem. Now that your t-shirt looks like a muscle tank, it is time to cut vertical strips about two inches wide all the way across the bottom of the shirt starting from the bottom and working up. And the length of the fringe is up to you, so if you want long fringe, cut longer strips and vice versa. Once you've finished cutting your strips, we are going to pull down on the strips so that they curl around themselves, therefore creating a kind of noodle effect, and it also gets rid of that kind of jagged edge that is created by the scissors when we're cutting the strips. So this way it just looks really cool and it looks like fringe. Once you've done that, it is time to tie the matching front and back strips together and we're going to do double knots. This is going to ensure that our tote actually stays, you know, uh, a tote and our stuff doesn't come flying out the bottom of the bag. You be hitting up my phone until it's black and blue. No matter, you don't now cut the neck hole into a deeper V or scoop neck. It creates longer handles for your bag. Cut. 
Cut the tops of the shoulders in half so that we now have four strips in total and then tie the left front strip with the right front strip and then the same for the back strips to create two separate handles for your bag. No more crying for you. And there you have it friends, you've got your fringe tote. You could use this for so many different things. You could use it as a reusable grocery bag, a beach bag, a workout bag, because it is washable so you could put your dirty clothes in there after you work out and then wash the bag. That way, you know, it stays nice and clean. Or you could just use it as an everyday bag like I did. Take my hand. This next DIY is a dip dye t-shirt. So you will need a light colored top, dye any color of your choice, salt, water, a bowl, and rubber gloves. Start by filling a wide bowl or deep dish with warm water, and then go ahead and add in two tablespoons of salt, and you're going to stir that into the water until it is dissolved. Now go ahead and add in your dye. I went with pink. You could go with any color you want. Pour in your dye, whether it's liquid or powder, and make sure that it is mixed with your water and salt. Now go ahead and dip the bottom of your shirt into the dye, and you can do as much or as little as you want, it's up to you. And hold it there for about one to two minutes to let it soak and absorb into the shirt. Now go ahead and wring out the excess water and dye from your shirt, and then with cool water, rinse your shirt until the water runs clear. Then just let your shirt dry completely and you are done. These dip dye shirts are a great way to add a fun pop of color to your outfit during the spring and summer. So the outfit I have on is just very simple because I wanted my shirt to be the main focus of my outfit with the bright pop of pink at the bottom. So I have on the same black jeans but I just cuffed them at the bottom. Make you happy in time. For shoes I have on my Adidas Originals and then because it might get chilly and because I love this jacket and thought it went well with this outfit, I put on this light wash denim jacket that I got from Forever 21. Someday. This last DIY idea is the easiest of them all and there are endless ways to style it and use it. So all you're gonna need is an old t-shirt or tank top and a pair of scissors. All you're gonna do is just cut off the bottom of your top. How much you cut off depends on how thick or thin you want your circle scarf to be. I'm going for a thinner scarf since I'll be wearing it in spring and summer and I don't need it to keep me warm. It's just more of an accessory and that's it. Easy peasy. This scarf is great because you can also make it thick to keep you warm during the colder months. I just styled my infinity scarf with a simple white button down that I got from Urban Outfitters. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do make any of these DIYs, I would love to see so you can send me a picture with the hashtag MakeItWithMare. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>